Welcome once again to Triple MTV. We have these news for you. Kindly subscribe, comment, and turn on notification bell. Elders from the Rift Valley and Mount Kenya seek to reconcile President Ruto and Deputy President Gashagwa. Elders from Rift Valley and Mount Kenya have embarked on efforts to reconcile President William Ruto and his deputy regarding Gashagwa. This initiative follows Gashagwa's public accusations against President Ruto's allies whom he claims are undermining him. Despite these allegations, Gashagwa has consistently maintained that there is no personal conflict between him and President Ruto. However, the existing tensions are seen as a threat to the uh, unity of their Uda party. While some argue that the discord between these two leaders threatens national unity, others believe it could benefit the country. The conflict may empower the opposition, preventing the uncritical passage of legislation that could oppress citizens in parliament. Currently, the government holds a significant majority in parliament, which has led to the hasty approval of laws without considering their impact on the public. Last year, Kenyans were shocked when Mount Kenya MPs admitted to passing the 2023 finance bill without reading it. They approved the bill which faced significant opposition from Kenyans simply to please President Ruto disregarding the interests of their voters. <coughs> Mount Kenya MPs confessed to their oversight facing, after facing intense backlash from local farmers who complained about the high taxes imposed by the new law. Now, MPs aligned with Gashagwa have vowed to fiercely oppose some of the proposals in the 2024 finance bill, which they argue will burden Kenyans with heavy taxes. The bill also proposes higher taxes on essential items like bread and on annual tax on vehicle owners. If Gashagwa's allies join forces with the proposition to oppose this bill, it will provide significant relief to Kenyans. The rivalry between President Ruto and Gashawa supporters is likened to fight among insects, beneficial only to the unlocking parts. When former President Uru Kenyatta fell out with his deputy Dr. Ruto after the 2017 election, the ruling Jubilee Party had to seek opposition to support to pass crucial bills. Dr. Ruto managed to rally over 70 MPs to his side, making it difficult for the government to pass legislation in parliament. The opposition should collaborate with Gashagwa to ensure that the bills passed in parliament serve the public interest rather than the interest of a few in government. Opposition MPs must not betray citizens by approving legislation that will harm them. Kindly subscribe to Triple MTV, uh, comment, turn on notification bell. Let's engage here on Triple MTV. Don't forget to subscribe to this favorite channel.